Hey everybody, we are going to make what's called an everything but the kitchen sink protein smoothie, which is ideal after a workout or even as a snack or better yet as a meal replacement when you're not really feeling up for maybe a typical salad. So we are going to throw everything in a really high quality blender. I have a Ninja, but Vitamix is great. If you don't have really a good blender, you're gonna struggle a little bit with some things that um, might be bigger and chunkier, but you can make it work, okay? So we are going to start with eight ounces of unsweetened coconut milk very good for you. We're not going to use cow's milk, right? Okay. And I have mixed some NP Pro protein powder. I like to use half a scoop of vanilla and half a scoop of protein, uh, chocolate protein powder, and that way I get the 18 grams of protein and a nice mix of chocolate and vanilla. And I also had some leftover coffee this morning, so I'm going to throw in about three to four ounces of my coffee for that caffeine boost that I need. <laughs> up next, this is a little bit different. I'm going to put in some oats to thicken up my shake as well as give me some good carbs that are gluten free. Yum. This is really going to taste like a milkshake. And then I'm going to throw in about half a cup to three fourths a cup of strawberries. I hardly ever have strawberries on hand when they're out of season so I always make sure to buy them frozen and get them when they're not in the light syrup. All right and of course I have some um, coconut. These coconut flakes, I don't know if you can see them, they are unsweetened coconut flakes. If you can't find those at your store, this is probably like an eighth of a cup. I don't put very much in. It's good fat, I just don't want a ton of it. Um, if you can't find that, then use coconut oil instead. Let's see, let's put in monster amounts of spinach. You will not taste it. I know you think you're going to taste it, and you're just not. Your kids think they're going to taste it. I've got some almond butter here. This is about a giant tablespoon, so let's call it two tablespoons, and let's be honest about it. Um, so we want to get, again, some good fats and proteins. Oh, yeah, we got to get it all in there. Yum. Okay, that's good. And then I've got my cute little servings. I want to put a little bit of cocoa powder. I mean, really, this is like two teaspoons of cocoa powder. Just a dash of vanilla extract. This is not salt. This is a little bit of sweetener. I use Swerve sweetener. So again, a couple of teaspoons of that to add a little bit of sweetness without raising your insulin level to be insane. <laughs> and I'm sneaking in. Don't tell anybody. These are some Enjoy Life chocolate chips. So they're gluten free, they're dairy free, soy free. So just a little bit of sweetness. This is not going to make or break your waistline, okay? Some chia seeds. Again, adding some unflavored uh, protein and fiber and making it thick like a milkshake. And then I have a little bit of cinnamon. I'm a huge cinnamon fan, so maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon of that. And then we are going to add in some ice. And with my shakes, because it always ends up being so full, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. I always end up adding a little bit of water. Let me just put a little bit of water. It really is like the kitchen sink. Everything's going to be in there. Just a little bit of water to help it blend easier. All right, we're going to blend this up, nice low speed. <laughs> going to do with part of it is make my kids some 
popsicles. So I'm going to pour this in. I have four little hungry boys, so this is perfect. They only taste a chocolate fruity snack. And this is something that I can enjoy too. So I'll drink mine while I put theirs in the freezer. Perfect. Those are going to be ready to go. I still have a monster shake. Doesn't that look good, right? Okay, so I have just effectively made, in a couple of minutes, everybody an afternoon snack. How great, right? We don't have two different menus. It's called take it or leave it. And this is so good. High protein, waistline friendly. Cheers.